So, the 2021 Romania Muscle Fest Pro just wrapped up. Fun fact, did you guys know that that is the country that Hello, Superset Maniacs, Superset Man is from? And another fun fact, did you know that yours truly, the Anabolic Chicken, is half Romanian? Well, now you know, now you know. Anyway, let me get away from that irrelevant stuff. These two guys placed top two at the show. Rafael Brandeo, or should I say Brandown? A lot of Brazilian fans might wonder now, how is that gringo able to pronounce his name correctly? I probably butchered the Brazilian accent, but uh, a Brazilian viewer told me that that is the way his name is actually pronounced. So I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. And Samson Dara, he placed second, which might be a bit confusing because at the Prague Pro just days before this, Mr. Samson Dara, broom broom, driving in Mimum's car over there. He actually placed first at that show and Brandown placed second. So what happened here? Well, let's find out. Starting off with the frontable biceps. And this pose is hard to judge. They both look great in this pose. They both carve a great outline. I would say that Samson Dada, he carves out a slightly better outline. But at the same time, Brandown, he has better arms, better separation. And he looks harder overall. So... Tough to judge. Let's get to the front last spread. And again, guys, I would say that throughout this comparison, Brandown, he looks a bit harder, especially upstairs. But in this pose, I will give a slight edge to Samson Dauda. I just think that he carves out a much better outline in this pose. It might be the execution, but execution is a part of bodybuilding. So slight edge to Dauda in this pose. When it comes to the side chest shot, again, guys, this is quite difficult because I would say that they both hit a great side chest shot. Run down, he bends down a bit further, creating that hanging hamstring and I guess a better side leg. But Dada is no slouch in that department either. Upstairs, they are both great. They both have great and full pecs. I would say that again, run down, he looks a bit harder overall especially upstairs, so tough to judge. Let's move on to the side triceps. And unfortunately, I could not find high quality picks of Dauda hitting this pose, so I chose the pick they had from the comparison. And again, guys, this one is a bit difficult. I think that Brandown is getting ripped off when it comes to the execution here. He's not fully locking in the pose. But still, I would say that downstairs, I'll give a slight edge to Brandown. He looks a bit more separated there and he looks also a bit harder in the glutes but upstairs i'd give an edge to dada i feel like he has a better triceps so thus far it's fairly close moving on to the back shots and this is where i think that mr brandown won if you look at his back it looks twice as hard as dada and it looks a bit more meatier as well he just looks to have a bit more mass in his back. Now, neither of these guys are Dorian Yates, so it's tough to tell. But overall, I feel like Brandown has an edge when it comes to the back because he has better muscle separation there and he looks also harder and grainier. So overall, even though neither of them look like Dorian Yates, as I said, they still both hit a decent back double biceps. But I feel like Brandown gets an edge when it comes to this shot. The same goes for the back lat spread. I feel like for some reason, Mr. Samson Dauda, he looks a bit smooth and soft from the back, especially in the back. But even downstairs, he doesn't look as hard as Brandeo, even though, or Brandown, I apologize. But even though Brandown does not have the most strided glutes either at the show, it might be due to the lighting because Brandown, he usually comes with strided glutes, but... Who knows, guys, but I feel like he's a bit harder when it comes to the hamstrings area. Even in the calves, he looks a bit harder and more separated there. But when it comes to the back, I feel like there you can find the biggest difference, so to speak. And yeah, I guess you'll give this pose to Brad Down. Now, when it comes to the abs and thigh, obviously, Samson Dauda, he has that gnarly ab split. So it's tough to say. Because uh, Samson, he has better obliques in my opinion. And I believe they are called the serratus muscles. I'm not a muscle expert, but 
the muscles that he has on the side of his midsection, they are a bit better and more detailed than Brandeo. But at the same time, Brandeo, even though he has a four pack, they are more symmetrical and you can find you can't find any split there. But at the same time, Samson he carves out a slightly better outline. But in my opinion, I will still give this pose to Brandon because of his thigh. After all, this pose is called the abs and a thigh. And he has better muscle separation downstairs. And it just looks better overall, in my opinion. So, there you go. But, food for thought, you also have this amazing vacuum pose. Ab and thigh from Samson Dauda. I just wanted to showcase this because I think that this is extremely rare in open bodybuilding. I don't know if they really judge a pose like this or if it's fair to hit it like this. But then again, a lot of people in open bodybuilding also hit it sort of twisting, doing a most muscular is variation, which Samson Dada also hit. But I think that that's sort of cheating. So why not allow them to hit a vacuum as well? Looks great. Looks great. But still, Raffle Brandown takes the absent tie. Finally, we have the most muscular shot. And in my opinion, this is a telling tale. When you look overall at their physiques, I just feel like Brandon, he just looks harder and more separated. He also has sort of that grainy look, even though he's an, a younger individual. He looks to have much better muscle maturity, I guess you can say, compared to Samson Dowla. So there you go, guys. Overall, was there any robbery happen at the show? Well, in my opinion, the rightful winner of the show was Rafael Brandon. I do not see any robbery that happened at the show, but it was very close. So I can see why Samson Dada got the edge at the Prague Pro. But in my opinion, Brandon, he should have won the show. And we do not have the best pictures from the Prague Pro, unfortunately. But to be honest, I do not see how Samson Dada beat this guy at the Prague Pro either. I feel like he's more grainy and he sort of has better muscle maturity. And when it comes to their overall structure, they are quite similar. They both have a great structure and a small waist. When it comes to the muscles, I do not see any of them getting a significant edge there. So I do not know, guys. They are very close indeed. But in my opinion, this guy, as of this moment, is just a bit better. So he is the rightful winner of the Romania Muscle Fest Pro. But let me know your opinions in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys later.